Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Boundless. Today we are in a cave and hopefully we can make it out on the other side okay, but for now I have this old wooden ax I'm trying to use because I have no idea how to drop it. And we're just gonna try our best to just mine some stuff up. It looks like we're earning up some coal and there's a number of other materials. We'll just be searching around. This will be our first time properly cave searching with a torch, so here's hoping everything turns out okay. Um, I would hope so, but there's only one real way to find out now, isn't there? And that's just to hop in and to break as much as we can. We cooked our copper into a copper, like actual usable copper metal, which is pretty cool last episode. And what is this stuff? This looks like fossils. Oh, that would be cool. What do we get? Um, oh, do I not have enough space in my inventory? Man, oh man, I don't. What am I going to do about this? <laughs> I still don't know. I don't have any space in my inventory for anything. And that's where things become problematic in this game. I still have some more of these, you know? And like if I look, details, I can go to details, I can go to like so many different stuff, but there's no option to just remove something. There has to be a way. There's no way I can't just like get rid of stuff, right? That would be nonsense. I mean, maybe if I were to like, like what do I wanna get rid of right now? Probably like something I don't need too much, like sand would be good. Where's my cursor? This is so weird. Um, Like sand, I don't need too much sand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this sand over here. Like this, I know this seems ridiculous, but this is like seriously my best bet. I mean, I guess what I should do with this sand is, uh, not press all the wrong buttons, but use it to make a staircase out of here. Even though I'd probably just wanna dig my way out of here, so I don't even know if that's even worth my while. But yeah, I could just try to build a little bit of a staircase, a sand staircase, and just deal with that. But I don't know, there are some things in this game that feel really nonsensical, like how there's no obvious way to remove your items from your inventory except for making it a really expensive chest. Like, that's insane. That's like maddening. I don't know, I don't get it. Okay, back to using this. If I use up this axe's durability, that'll be one less thing in my chest. Well, we, get, we did get uh, or my, my inventory, but yeah. We use up its durability. But yeah, I, I did get some fossils there, that's good. I gotta destroy this stuff too. Luckily, we do have slightly faster attack speed than normal. That's also good. And I see this coal up here, and then even farther up, there's some copper. It's tough to grab everything in a mine like this. But hopefully the deeper we go, I mean, that's one of our things, one of our pinned objectives right now on the top left is to navigate lower. And that's exactly what I wanna do. I don't know how much lower. We might wanna check the journal to find out. Can I break this from this distance? That's pretty crazy though. Reaching that's a nice thing. A low energy, okay, let's eat some of our food. Just like this. Another one so that we can uh, Get all the way back to full, that would be preferred. Yeah, there we go, fill up. Let's figure this out then. Back over to the torches, and then if I quickly take a look at our journal, uh, we have, try a little mountaineering, navigate lower. So it doesn't even tell you in there how lower it really means. We've got some more fossils over this way, and we're more than halfway done with this, this sword, not the sword, <laughs> this hammer. So that's gonna be good too. Let's break that up, and that seems to be all it is there. Ooh, the cave even leads over this way. That's a little spooky. Now I know there aren't too many, or if at all, any bad guys on this planet. Nothing that's gonna attack me before I attack yet. That's what I chose at the least. I hope it keeps to that, but you never know. Okay, so I got some of that. I'm gonna break this soft coal up this way as well. Like, how are we doing on inventory? We are definitely still full. Definitely still full. But I know my glue is done being made up there back up the surface. I just wanna explore this because this is more fun. I suppose the game would let me without it being this incredible escapade to make chests. Do some things are intentionally complicated in a weird way with this game that definitely I don't like too much. So let's break that one. Make sure we get these three, just like all the copper I can because copper is really good to have. And I don't know if we're gonna start running into resources that I can't break with my current materials, probably. So I do have to be careful about that. Got it. And then this is a dead end. Okay, well, there's one less problem I have to worry about. I could put a torch down to signify, you know, hey, I've been here. So I'm gonna do that. I mean, I know that stuff eventually disappears, but it shouldn't while I'm here, I wouldn't expect. Maybe if I stopped playing and didn't come back here for a good couple days, that would make sense, you know? Or to disappear at that rate. But if it would disappear anytime soon, that'd be odd. 
Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna keep digging through this stuff. We got a lot of copper waiting for us, which is nice. And there we go, there's that uh, hammer finally broken. What about my other hammer? It's up this way. For whatever reason, that just sort of got unequipped. Got it. All right, so we can actually do this a little bit faster now too, which is awesome. So I should be able to break this stuff with a little bit more ease. It feels like he swings this stuff a little bit slower, which makes sense, it's a heavier material. That's why it's more durable. Hmm. So we're just gonna have to continue upgrading our character's speed, our dexterity whenever we can, so we can keep swinging a bit more fastly. That's what I really appreciate, because it just makes everything else so much easier. Placing blocks and breaking blocks more quickly, that sounds like the way to go. So let me go ahead and grab this up here as well. Soft coal seam. Moving back over here, we got ourselves some copper and some more soft coal. So there's more than one type of coal as well. Like there's lots to find in that way. Okay, so uh, low energy again. So let me just wait for a second. It should restore itself pretty easily. There it goes, 100, 100, 100, just gives you hundreds over and over again, which is nice. And then as soon as I start swinging again, it'll stop restoring. That's all I need for now. And this vein of soft coal keeps going and going. And then I did see like an area going down, uh, just right over this way. Okay, so this is a bit complicated. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was gonna be complicated if this led off to its own way, but a lot of these have actually been dead ends, which is not too bad of an idea because that way we don't have to worry about getting lost. Looks like it is nighttime, but once again, we don't have to worry about too many enemies. And is that the end of the cave here? Ooh, maybe not, maybe not, I thought so, but then I saw that there was more. So I'm gonna hop up. Oh, there's definitely at least more soft coal. And that's it for real. So we could either dig our way out of here, or I do already have the sand staircase, or I could try teleporting out, but then I would need to spend some of my warp conduits and stuff, and that's a little bit more expensive than I'd like right now. So for now, we're just gonna bust this stuff, and then we'll head out of here, and our glue should be made so that we can put stuff in a chest, and I'll probably try to get more glue and just do that over and over again until basically I have a whole fleet of inventories. Like, that's what I really want, because if not, the game just gets too difficult managing all that. There's no way to delete materials, which is the most ridiculous thing ever. Anyways, or even just like, you know, place the chunk down and then leave it for later. Like, even you can't even do that. Okay, so for this, I don't know if I wanna just use my, I have like some basic soil here. I think I'm just gonna use this. That's it, okay, so I'm out of that, that place. Still pretty good to explore, pretty fun as well. I know that there was like a bridge somewhere that I was like wanting to check out, but decided to leave it, decided to leave it indeed. Okay, so we gotta get back up this mountaintop, and hopefully we're not too far from him. I don't think we are. Yep, there's home sweet home. Yeah, let's go, I'm excited. Can't wait for the good old familiarity. I know I need to make things like walls and stuff, but honestly, with us being in a more peaceful world, I don't think it matters too much at all. I want to start exploring other worlds soon, but I feel like I'm just like way not prepared for that. I feel like that's just gonna make things even more difficult and even more confusing when I've barely got a grip on what we're doing right now. Oh, hey, another one of those dudes. See, I don't know if this guy would attack me or not. Don't think so. I don't know what he's doing on that tree. Oh no, he knew I was attacking before I even landed a shot. That's sort of a little baloney, because he's gonna be beating me up. I don't know where he went though. Oh, I hear him, I hear him. Leave me alone, leave me alone. So I could have just like accidentally shot, and that would have been bad, because he might still think I'm attacking him. Which, in this situation, admittedly, he was right. I was attacking him. Come on, oh, I almost got him. Oh, almost got him. Yeah, we got him. Sorry, buddy, but I really needed to do that. Oh, and he has a friend who is now also mad at me. Well, that was a weird coincidence. Whoa, did he have like a shield there? I guess he had a shield, yeah. I'm about to die. I ought to be careful. I didn't even pick everything up there either. Okay, this is a great spot to be in, but if he starts getting close, I'm really scared at the moment. Come on, come on, don't you dare, don't you dare. I'm gonna take you out. Yeah, okay, we got both of them. Jeez, that was tough. Not easy whatsoever. So I don't know what gets me my health back. Maybe eating well? You know, let's try it. Or maybe just being at max stamina? My health seems to be slowly restoring. Yep, slowly over time. So I just gotta not get into any more scuffles, I suppose. 
Also need to break this. Is this a shovel? Yeah. So maybe I could just shovel a couple things. It's raining out here. Not really a good time to not have a roof over our heads. Luckily that doesn't seem to negatively affect me. Whoever's building a base over there has been doing quite a good job compared to me. Like I feel like I'm that neighbor or like that he's that neighbor that always has like a better house and all the cool stuff and I just look like a, a total, total chump. I'm like, Arr, I hate my neighbor, but I love my neighbors, you know? I don't think I have a problem with them. You know, that's sort of the typical thing is like the, the one guy will hate the other guy. But I don't think that's necessary. You know, you gotta, you gotta be friendly to your neighbors. Sometimes they're all you got. Not only that, but he's trying hard on his house. Oh, look at it there. It's much cl more clear without the rain. I wanna visit at some point. We need to like make something nice, like cookies. You know, like I'm new to the neighborhood. I wanna be able to say hello. Give a positive impression. <laughs> okay, so uh, moving back this way. We got a couple things we gotta worry about. First off, give me my glue. And then also, where are my bones? Have I picked up any of the bones? I don't think I have. So all those guys I took out was basically for nothing. I'm just gonna like put something in here real fast. And then, yeah, all the coal I needed to stack together so I can take the glue and put it there. And then with the glue, I'm gonna move back this way. We're gonna go to our recipes. Uh, I think I'm getting new recipes as I level up. I think that's what I've been confused on. And I think that's what's happening. So for this, how many can I make? I can make three. One, two, okay, if I had more stones, which I should be able to make more stones, no problem. Okay, I can make some. Uh, very interesting, so I'll have enough for a storage block. How exciting, it takes a little bit of time, unfortunately. Crafting times, different recipes craft different raids. Uh, rather than waiting, explore, gather resources, improve your beacons, or complete objectives and feats. I'm trying, but I can't if I have maximum inventory, so I gotta do this first. Well, in the meantime, I can take a look. We do have some exchange stuff. Uh, wood periodic coffer, might as well take it. Uh, well, we have a little while until we're at our next level. It looks like there's different, like, I guess there's different headgear and stuff we can get. Interesting, was this here before? I don't think so. I don't really care too much about it. I'd rather additional characters, skill cleanse points, skill reset token, tint kit, appearance change token, skill set. What is skill set? Adds an additional empty skill set for your current character. Skill points earned in the future can be spent on your new skill set or existing skill sets. You can swap it, oh, I get it. So if like I wanted like a specifically for like a mining skill set, that's interesting. What I'm more interested in is just if I could buy more inventory <laughs> with my cubits. I don't know, I don't really know if I want any of this stuff with my cubits. I mean, I guess I could buy more coffers with my cubits. Probably wanna save up for the uh, plot dark matter coffer. That sounds fun. Almost there, I'm getting closer and closer. Okay, so uh, with that being said, I have myself, oh, an extractor? I don't know what that is, I forget. So I'm gonna leave that there. Oh yeah, I, I made that and I never grabbed it. I don't wanna grab it at the moment. I'm just trying to figure out where everything is. So we have our two storage blocks, which is super duper important. These things are like just a must have at this rate. And I should be able to put them right here Interact, what can I put inside of this? Look at how little thing, amount of stuff you get out of this. It's so disappointing, it's so just quaint. I'm just gonna put gravel and stuff. Like if I could just put dirt in there, that's fine. I just need the inventory space. Can I add this stuff into the smart rock? No, I can't. This is rock smart stack, but this right here is metamorphic stone. So I guess stones aren't rocks, note to self. So that has some stuff in it. Now if I move over to this. Wait, why can't I? What are you talking about? I just wanna interact with this. There we go. Um, in this one, we'll go ahead and put some soft coal. Well, yeah, quick move it. And there's like really basically anything would be good right now. Then let me move back down this way. Are the bones, wherever I took those guys out, I think it was over here. Are the bones still over here then? Or were they just not dropped at all? Oh, there were some, right? There is one bone. I need as many bones as I can get, which seems like right now, that's just one. All right, well, I'm back to full health. All that action ended up, uh, you know. Okay, don't anger two of them at once. I need to just focus on this guy. No, I anger two of them at once. Oh no, that was a problem. I could barely deal with two of them, but 
both one at a time. I don't know how I'm gonna get myself out of this situation, especially when I can't land a single shot ever. Okay, come on, keep getting him. We almost got him. He's getting lower. Get rid of his friend too, sure. Come on. I feel so bad for taking these guys out. They were just like, enjoying their day. Don't you dare. Okay, whoa, some crazy lag. I don't know where I am or what's happening. Did I get him? Did I get any of his stuff? Maybe he just hasn't popped up yet. Sometimes it does take a second. This thing has a lot of durability though, a lot of taking down opponents. Come on, I need to get this guy because I don't know if his friend dropped something because like the server's lagged or something. Ugh, come on. Come on, I can get him, I know I can. There it is, one more hit, one more hit, yeah, we got him. So I'm so sorry about that, buddy, but I need your stuff. I absolutely need it. Okay, so we, I don't know if we got any bones from that, unfortunately. I don't know where his friend's stuff went. Weird. I don't see it anywhere. I mean, maybe it's round and I just missed it, but I'm downing it at the moment. I also need to use my shovel. I'm gonna use my shovel to uh, dig a couple more things, because the durability is almost down on this. Is there some ore in this dirt? Looked like it to me. There's some soil, but all the dirt has soil, so. I guess it's just like a little piece of the rocks. It's not really a ore of any kind. Okay, well, I did what I could with everything so far. I definitely need more bones. Gah, that scares me. There's only one bone right now. Okay, that broke. So that's one less inventory slot I need to worry about. It would be nice if these chests, as some kind of benefit for being so difficult to make, could actually just like, if I pick anything up that would be pertaining to it, would just zoop over to it, but I don't think it's gonna work that way, unfortunately. Anyways, I have enough to at least make one more. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put the one bone in. Just quick it, quickly uh, put it over there, just like that. And I, while I navigated lower, apparently I didn't navigate low enough to make the game happy for that one quest. And I, do I even have any PD soil? Is this PD soil? It's clay soil. Doesn't look like it to me. I mean, I might in the chest. Because if I could use that to fuel the furnace, that'd be great, right? I don't think I do. Like, not in that one, that's for sure. And in this one, like, we have a smart soil stack. Expand. Clay soil, silty soil. So I don't have any PD soil right now. Unless that's something I craft, you know? Like, it might be. <laughs> With this game, it really could be anything. Uh... So taking a look, we have our basic materials, we have our woods, components, crafting devices, conduit box. No, not really. Hmm. Okay, well, back to the grind of other things in the meantime. I do have, oh, I have more of these. More storage blocks waiting for me. I didn't realize I mean more. Cool, I'll take them. Gladly take them. So uh, can I stack these on top of each other? I would sure hope so. I'd be upset if you can't. Gonna put that on the left, and whoop, and whoop. There we go. Don't really care which way they face as long as I can put stuff in them. And right now, I can put stuff in them. So let's get some hide in there. I'm gonna get the, whoa, this, oh, wait, why is this one larger? Cause it's stacking up with that one. Gotcha, so I can make like a whole wall of them if I set that up correctly, which I didn't, but <laughs> I could've. It's not exciting. Okay, well now I'm putting a whole lot more in there. I wanna put this up this way, cause apparently I made two of these. Same thing with the torches. Okay, so gotta keep that in mind. That maybe if I were to break one of these, I mean these, the two on the bottom are facing two separate ways in a way that's a little confusing. Maybe I could, no, not that. No, 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 can I break it? Will this drop everything that's inside or did I just lose it all? No, okay, I just picked it all up. For better or for worse. Oh well, I think they actually accidentally got me a quest done. Would you look at that, that's sort of weird. Um, so if I were to, I mean I, I mean, I think things float. Like it's a weird thing, right? It's like things float. This is an ax, do we not have a shovel right now? No, I do. Just don't have it equipped for some reason. Things float if I like break from under them, which should be helpful to some degree. Because now I can just like set things up down this way. If I uh, get these, if I have them on the bottom, and then I put it facing me here, 
and then facing me here. And then look at that. Okay, I figured it out. We've cracked the code. It's all in one big chest now. Isn't that great? So I need the glue still. As much glue as I can get because I can actually go ahead and obviously make more with that. So um, recipes for another one. What do I need now? I need any stones. Gotcha, I can make stones real easy. Going back up this way, igneous stones. You want some? You bet. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, my queue is full. Forgot that that has to happen. That is so weird that that has to happen. I don't really see it. Let me close my doors to nothing. <laughs> huh. I don't know what's going on over here. He's building some crazy stuff. We gotta go visit him soon. Him, her, I'm not really sure. But you never know. So, yeah, I already have a couple of rocks waiting for me, which is fantastic. Just gonna put them in with the rest of my stuff. And that should be enough to uh, pull up the recipes and go back down. And do I have enough to make one? I do. I only have one glue left. But it actually crafts two of them. That's what's nice about that. So if I want to do anything else, it's probably going to, going to go ahead and make more glue. Because I can use glue to make copper stuff too. But then it's like I'm in this whole situation where I got to find a way to get rid of the stone stuff as well. And it gets all messy. But I definitely need more bones no matter what. So to do that, what I got to do is beat up some enemies. So if I can find some enemies around, that'd be fantastic. We'll see how things go. I think this whole flatland area, this is probably the area I should have built my house in the first place, is this whole flatland area. I know there's like another player around here, but hey, you know, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, so looking around, I don't see too much I can really grab at the moment. We're gonna get up this way just by using this wonderful hammer. And this hammer has like a lot of life left to it, so not too worried about that. But I think we'll have a fair chance of finding what I'm looking for in a flatter area, or at least it'll be easier to see it. Uh, don't make a seam about, a scene about copper seam. A new object is available. Objective is available, okay. So let's see our new objectives um, in the journal. I might wanna unequip some of these, right? Like, uh, navigate lower, that's just gonna happen on its own. We do have some other stuff like acquire and improve beacon fuel or better. What about this one? Add a friend to your friends list. Oh, I don't want to do that. Not right now. Too busy. So we already got the that going on. Acquire a spanner. Use a spanner to repair a machine. Acquire metal bars. I thought I already had metal bars. With the copper. I mean, maybe it's just it's not in my inventory right now. I think a lot of it's actually still waiting in the furnace. So I might have to go grab that stuff soon and see if that does anything for me. But in the meantime also, I have four exchange stuff. Let's collect it all. That's pretty good. That's gonna get us a good chunk closer to the next level, which I appreciate. And how about a, uh, what's it called? Cubits. I'm still, so I don't get too many cubits. I don't know really how to get those in the game intentionally. Yeah, this guy's like been really making a house. Look at him go. We're so proud. Not too much going on in there right now. I don't think, oh no, I can enter. Wow. Wait, can I use his stuff? I can't. Restricted area. Okay, well, I wasn't gonna like tamper with it. I just wanted to see if I can't use it. I could have saved myself some materials not having to make it myself. Oh, look at this, exactly what I was looking for. So let's see if I can't take care of a couple of enemies. And they're just simple wild stocks, so they should be real easy to take down. Oh gosh, uh, maybe I spoke a little too soon. No, dude, come on, get out of here. Be gone, thank you. And you dropped the bone. That's what I was looking for. Oh, it's so much nicer when I don't have a gigantic inventory full of stuff. I mean, it's not very large inventory, but an inventory full of stuff. Come on, get him. Before he can land a hit on me that time, but his friend, friend isn't so happy about that. Where are you going, sir? Oh, you're going right towards me. Like little goats with how they charge you. Try to knock you off a mountain, but whoa, okay. Hold on there, game. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Defeated a, a, another wild stock. Unfortunately, he did not drop any bones. Come on, keep getting this guy. Keep getting him. We can get him before he even reaches me. There we go, got him. Please drop bones. You dropped the bone, thank you. So, uh, and there's like a whole bunch of them too. Keep moving, I'm gonna back it up. Try to dodge him. Uh, they're, they, they're pretty good at landing their mark. They run much faster than we do. Come on. Yeah, I got him. I feel so bad. 
didn't do anything to deserve this. Come on, what do I get? I got more tallows, but unfortunately, no more bones. Why are the bones the hardest thing to come by? I don't understand that. This guy has a lot of like armor. Like some extra health going on. I try not to hit his friends. Oh, I hit his friends. Ah, oh, that's gonna be a problem. I need to keep running then, as fast as I can. While I try to, because I got three of them mad at me now. This is getting me in some deep problems. I'll tell you that much. Uh, oh no. Oh no, indeed. I don't know if there's like player versus player in this game. Can you take out other players too? That'd be very interesting. But I don't know if that's the case. Okay, come on, got it. That's good. Oh, speedrunner, hey, look at that. Yeah, I don't know if I, I guess I had speed activated there, so I'm just like running around real quick. Come on, almost got him. Yeah, I knocked him out. Now it's just his last dude. I don't know how I managed all this, but I really did. Keep getting him, keep getting him. Come on, yeah. Now I just gotta take down his normal health because that wasn't enough as it was. There has to be a better way to do this. Like, look at these little guys. How are they giving me so much of a problem? Okay, I'm just gonna walk around normally, I think. Well, no, I got one more shot on him. I can do it. There it is, so let my stamina refill. <sighs> there it goes. Much better. Unfortunately, I still, I mean, I have five bones is not so bad. Not gonna complain about that. These rocks look different. What kind of rocks are these? Igneous rocks. So I'm no stranger to igneous rocks. Just I don't know if I've ever seen them in the light like this, so that might be the thing. Man, the servers aren't happy. Is this the, the hard part about it being an only, always online game? And I think this guy probably travels into this mine quite often. Doesn't look like it's too much for him to find right now. Little boulder right there. Basic boulder. Gave me some flint. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Give me two pieces of flint, actually. So I'm gonna run all the way back to my place, my joint, which is up that way. Do that, I guess, yeah, swimming over this way will be my best bet. There's also some materials underwater, which is quite nice, because it's actually not too bad to actually break these, as you can see. I don't think my attack speed is any sl slower. Hard to tell. I don't know where I can tell how much air I have. Doesn't really tell you anywhere. Because I'm pretty sure you do have to, you know, get out of the water to breathe. Unless, you know, our characters have that magical ability to not have to need that. No, come on, I'm just trying to get out of here. I, I like the fact that there's copper under the water, but it'd be much, you know, I gotta use the right tool for the right job, there we go. Just be much easier for me just to get the heck out of here. Might be worth it at some point then to make some kind of like staircase leading out of the water or maybe just a bridge. You know, that's probably something I should have invested in a long, long time ago, is just making a bridge. So, uh, yeah, let's get across like this. That's pretty good. If we set this up right, we can run up mountains real fast. I mean, I'm not really in that part of the game where I can set up super convenient stuff. I'm still finding out the basics and everything. But now with everything figured out, ah, weird close up. I can try to get those metal bars, which for me are the copper, and see if that makes the game happy to unlock the building a workbench objective to be completed. But for now, we gotta run over this way and grab it. Not from there, but from here. All right, so we got our copper, does this say copper bars? It does, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, and there we go, it gets checked off. Oh, and that checked off a couple more things too. All right, building a workbench completed. That's another pinned thing done. So what we're gonna do is probably make more glue, first off, first and foremost. It looks like I can do that. So yeah, let's actually, more bones, there we go. And start furnace. Yeah, awesome. So do I have enough to make anything now? I don't think so. So what do warp conduits do again? An inter... Intricately patterned block which can be stacked up to create a warp. Yeah, okay, so I have a couple of these right now, but not a lot. They're not too tough to make though. I don't know where I'm making it a warp to, but I guess that's sort of the big thing to figure out. So I'm gonna get those out and see if I can't do that, make a warp, because that's something that's been having me curious. What is, what is happening? What What is happening? I, I'm being pushed again. Were there enemies? I think there might be uh, one of those little dudes just pushing me around being a jerk. That's why I need to make walls around this fortress one day. 
one day indeed. Okay, so I just gotta wait for around for the or wait around for this stuff to be done. It already is. So look at this. I got my warp conduit. I have my igneous stones. I have my storage block. Let's make the storage block. Let's just make this even taller. That'd be the best thing for me right now. So uh, that and then this. And first off, let's focus on this. And just make it so that it is uh no, not the seeds. You know what I need to do. I need to get rid of this and put something flatter here because this is just gonna get confusing for me. Do I have any? What is happening? I don't know why, I, like there is something really bad lag happening that is making it really tough to play. There we go. That's all I wanted, that simple. And then with this, I'm going to plop it there and plop it here and look at this. We should have an even more gigantic thing. Really not too many materials in here right now. Don't know what the deal with that is. So we're gonna try changing that. I mean, it might just be that, oh, there's like more than one thing here. So why is this not all together? It's gonna be incredibly hard for me to figure out where all my stuff is done. Or maybe, it, no, it's definitely like more than one thing. That is bizarre. That is super bizarre. I will have like no hope figuring this out. What about this one? That one's good. Yeah, it's sort of weird. That is super bizarre. Okay, well that's good enough. I don't have, oh, I need to get that out now. Oh no, whenever I'm looking for something, I'm done for. Who's, what is that that's happening? I don't know. All I wanna do is try to make a warp. So we're gonna take this stuff back out. I'm gonna put that in my left and we're gonna try to do this and see what ends up happening. Invalid warp configuration. So I think I need to make a couple of these. Maybe something like that. I actually don't need this one. Is this a, is this valid? Press square to interact. So like this is my home beacon. Do it for three. Yeah, that would lead me right here. But how do I make it so I can go to somewhere else? That's what I want to figure out. If I take a look at uh, one of these and I, there we go. Get more information. A seemingly basic or tool with strange markings used together for us to add or add augments to power powerful results. So I guess this didn't actually do any of that. I thought that was letting me choose where I want to go next. But I don't know if that's the case. I mean I could set it up. But I would literally set it up where I am standing right now. Sure, let's try it. Just to see if this actually works. <laughs> this is so dumb. But just to make sure I understand this. I, I spent 100 cubits on it, so it better be worth it. It's not gonna be worth it. Uh, let me take a look. No, maybe I didn't spend 100 cubits on that. Maybe it was just coins. Okay, level 10, reach trophy and the adventurer. Break blocks to open? All right. <laughs> that is weird. And is that a, is that a one-time thing? No. <laughs> no. That's just stuck there. Oh no, it does close in a minute. Reverse warp exit. That is super duper weird, close warp. All right, well, I made a portal to the other side of my living room. Isn't that wonderful? That one seems to be a very interesting game. I don't know if we'll be playing any more. This might be the last episode of the series, so if you do want to see more, all you gotta do is let me know. If enough people let me know, then maybe I'll consider doing more episodes. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Boundless. If you want to put a video, make sure you comment Zebra Warp, so I know you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.